And finally, Gary, has a time come that we face the reality that we are in something of a version two of the Cold War and start um, to have some of the same pushback on the Chinese Communist Party that we once had for the Soviet Union? Look, I think it's an interesting analogy, Amanda, and you may be right, but the, the thing that we've all got to understand is that China, particularly the Communist Party, runs their country the way they, you know, that suits themselves. And from the Chinese government's point of view, if you are in China, you're a Chinese, uh, anywhere in the world, um, they uh, look at you as, as part of, of their, uh, their fiefdom. And, uh, you know, that's their thing. We, as Keith said, have got to stand up for our values. And, and during that Cold War period, Amanda, before you were born, uh, uh, and I was a young bloke and so was Keith, uh, let me tell you that we stood for values. Uh, and Australia wasn't afraid to stand up for what it believed suited Australia. And there were some awkward mm -hmm. times. Now, right now, we are the most woke, broke country in the world. We're the first ones to fall when it comes to climate change. We're the first ones to beat ourselves up. China is getting rich off the back of our coal. We're getting poor off the back of not using Damn, it. Right. And frankly, it's feeding into inflation. It's feeding into inflation. It's creating a circumstance where inflation is going up. And Angus Taylor won't say it because he... You know, he was a part of that as well in the previous government. But let me tell you that energy prices is the thing that is ruining Australia's economy right now. China doesn't respect us because we don't respect us. And so we've got no chance of telling them what to do and we don't even know what we're doing ourselves. Simple. Good, good point. It starts with self-respect, doesn't it? Thank you both very much, Keith Pitt and Gary Hargraves, for your Cheers. time.